This afternoon I'm going to talk to you about acoustic neuromas. Now first of all, I've got to show you a picture of something. I want to show you a picture of the brain and how the nerves of hearing get from your brain to the ear. Let me just tell you first and then I'll show you the picture. The nerves of hearing come from your brainstem and they travel through your brain fluid to the bony canal which leads them out to your ear. That bony canal is the internal auditory canal and now I'm going to show you a picture of this. This is a picture of the skull base and you see the hole in the middle where the spinal column travels from the skull into the rest of the body. On either side you see two dark holes and these are the canals that carry the nerves for hearing from the brainstem out to the ears. Now in this picture you see a diagram of that canal in color. The nerves to the ears are yellow and they travel out towards the ear and these are the ones that are coming from the brainstem. This is a similar picture to what you've seen and here are the nerves to the ears traveling out to the cochlea. But instead of being simply nerves, they're growing an acoustic neuroma on them. And you can see how the acoustic neuroma presses on the nerves as the nerves are traveling out to the organ of hearing and the organ of balance and the facial nerve. Now, now you know where the internal auditory canal is. Tumors of the internal auditory canal are often asymptomatic. That means people have them and they don't even know they have them. Lots of times people have these tumors and they cause no problems whatsoever. People have these tumors and they're not even growing. So that can happen. However, when they grow, they press on the adjacent structures. So they press on the nerve to your hearing and they give you hearing loss. Or they press on the nerve to your face and they give you facial weakness. Or they press on your balanced nerves and it gives you dizziness. Or they're so large that they press on your brain stem and they give you all sorts of problems. So the goal of treating acoustic neuromas is trying to control what they do to the patient. And this can be done by radiation to try to keep them from growing, or surgical resection to try to keep them from pressing on the adjacent structures. So let me show you a picture of an acoustic neuroma and let me show you the approaches, how they're removed. This is an MRI of the skull base showing an acoustic neuroma. The neuroma is very well seen. It is bright white. Here in this figure it's been outlined in red with a red arrow pointing towards it. The tumor itself comes from the brain stem and it proceeds towards the ear through the internal auditory canal. So therefore you see what looks like a club with the head of the club pointing to the right and the handle of the club pointing to the left. Now, how are you going to remove this structure from this person's head? If you look directly to the left of the club, you see a large black triangle. This is the bone of the ear. At times, it is most advantageous to go simply through the bone of the ear and remove the tumor in this fashion. This would require an incision behind the external ear and then careful drilling of the bone that holds the inner ear structures in order to get to this tumor. Another approach would be to go behind the ear further back and gently push the cerebellum aside in order to get to the tumor. This does not require as much drilling of the inner ear but it does require entry inside the cranial vault. There's a third approach to reach these acoustic neuromas going from above the ear and this is a hearing preserving approach. That pretty much summarizes the approaches to remove acoustic neuromas surgically.